Ho, 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 everyone. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy Kwanzaa. There's yeah, the Hanukkah's a thing, it, right? Yeah. Happy Life Day. Yeah. Life Day, Earth Day. And Merry frickin' Christmas. Yes. Yeah. Happy Red Hour. Happy Monster Christmas. Happy Monster Party Christmas Monster. Holiday Extravaganza Special, which is what we're doing right now. As oh we drink yes. eggnog. As we drink Christmas party. Yes. Yes. It's the Christmas party. We've worked so hard all year it's on monster, monster Party. It's the Monster Christmas special. It is. Yeah. It's happening. That is so great. Regular programming has been preempted for this. Now yes, Virginia. Finally let our hair down and get silly. Oh, my God. Oh, right. imagine that. Anything and everything Monster Christmas Christmas related. holiday. Mem- yeah. if memories, yeah. movies. Anything and everything. Yeah. We'll probably game. lean towards Christmas, but if you have a Kwanzaa horror thing, <laughs> yeah. yank that baby out. Yeah, that whole right? subgenre. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's intro ourselves. But we should too. maybe do that. Uh, you are listening to that. me, Matt Weinhold, and to my left. And me, Sean Sheridan. And me, Larry Stroth. And me, James Gonis. And together, we are Monster Party. Monster Party. Monster Party. Uh, so, yeah, so. Horror, science fiction, and the holidays. Fantasy, uh, horror. Yeah, they often overlap in, yeah. in ways we may enjoy. And collide. And collide in ways maybe we don't. With giant explosions. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, I'm, I'm just going to like throw something go out for here. It. Jump, jump, go. Sorry. Jump now, in the know, deep end. I know, I know some people may feel that this is, has nothing to do with uh, monsters or horror, but I'm, I'm going to say, made in 1964 for television, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer oh, yeah. from Rankin Bass. Now, before you give me this look that you're giving me. Oh, I'm not. It has I'm on board. one of the greatest animated monsters, the the Bonneville Snow Monster. Absolutely. The Bumble. And yeah. The Bumble. Bumble. And when I saw this as a kid, probably around age four, and, and I guess we can joke about it now, but as a kid, that really frightened me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, wait, wait. More than Rudolph? <laughs> Rudolph with a no, radiated no, nose? No, no, I Some love, sort of no, I misfit love, of science? No. <laughs> Nature gone wrong? Yes, you know, yes. I, uh, Rudolph Newton. was so... How could you How could you look at that little reindeer and not feel sorry for him when his little lighted nose goes... He should have been destroyed Why at birth. Why am I such a misfit? <laughs> but the bumble... I mean, when you first see him, and you know, it, it's it's like his no, he's dad. Terrifying. His dad is teaching him, you know, how to be a reindeer, and what to be aware of, and you hear it, and then and, and then you, you you see the giant footsteps of the abominable snow monster, and I mean, let's face it, when you see him for the first time with his face and his teeth, when you're a little kid, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was terrifying, mm. well, so I, terrifying. Yes, yeah. I think part of what makes it so scary is that even the the. The parent who's teaching the kid what to be aware of is freaked out by this thing. And when you're a kid, you think, okay, even my my parent can't pr- can't protect me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But deers are afraid of cars too. So, <laughs> right. with reason. Yeah. You know, I was thinking that after uh, you know for this show, there are a bunch of other. There are some other abominable. Well, monster. I'll meet your bumble and okay. raise you to Winter Warlock along oh. the same lines. Oh, yeah, uh, from Santa Claus is coming to town. Same yeah. Rankin Bass special. Keenan Wind voiced great yes. winter evil creepy who dares enter yes, my I forest yes. fantastic who like the bumble turns out to kind of be a good guy well, in the story well he doesn't but, it's because it's because it's Chris kind of a Kringle, Grinch thing right yeah, but Chris yeah. Kringle gives him something right, right. I have a, I have a something toy to give you. train or fire truck remember when or, he goes yeah. oh, I have a toy for me yeah. he goes oh, no no tricks now but remember? he was a cool looking kind of monster I, I was hoping for a woman <laughs> 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 but, but it's not the worst yeah. Christmas ever. But Sean, that was actually very scary. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he was scary. But not for long. He gets converted pretty early, unlike Bumble, who doesn't get converted till the that's end. That's true. That's and true. he gets his freaking teeth pulled out. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's scary. Dentistry is pretty terrifying. Can that's terrifying. You know, there's a lot of different levels of horror going can you on. Ima- can, you imagine, the red can you imagine? Can you imagine if they did that, like really authentic and realistic? Like when you see Hermie, the little elf, after he's pulled out all of the abominable monsters, you have blood, blood everywhere. everywhere, all over the snow, <clears> chunks of gum. 
<laughs> now, as, as much as Rudolph has withstood the test of time, there's a lot of stuff in there that's pretty dated. I mean, you know, it doesn't. It, what? Whoa. Well, like, like you know, Santa and Donner, like, oh, this is man's work. The women folk have to stay at home. I, I don't. I'm. But I don't that's get how you. it is. I don't. I don't see where <laughs> you're coming how, from. That's how I always. That's no. how reindeers thought. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. I'll give you that. <laughs> they were reindeer that. from a different time. Yeah. And, yeah. And, that was 1964. For God's yeah. sake. They they did sort of tip the scales against Rudolph. I mean, you know, Santa and all the other reindeer and the adult reindeer who should have known better, they, they were mean to Rudolph. They and, did. They know, treated him like a freak. Yeah, but bullying I, I is still, you know, an issue, an issue to this issue. day. Yeah. That's right. Okay, maybe it's even more time. Imagine <laughs> if Rudolph had Facebook back then. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. He would have right? committed suicide. Yeah. yeah. Now, there's another uh, Abominable Snow Monster movie. Is it uh, The Snowman of the Himalayas? Oh, yeah. Abominable, 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 Abominable Snowman of the Himalayas, Himalayas. a hammer film. Yeah, that takes place on Christmas? Not really. Yeah, but, but it's, it's, it's snow. snow. It's snow. It's a holiday. You, of all people, yes. who wants to keep to the theme, <laughs> we're okay, now, okay. now it's, it's just a bottle, all... It's a, it's a snow monster. I'll keep it's it. How about, how about another kind of a perennial classic surreal... Uh, Christmas favorite is Santa Claus Conquers the Martians, right. which oh. is has Torg the robot, which is kind of scary if you're one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and you know, also right? the classic appearance of Pia Sidora. Oh yes, right? that's true. Right, uh, you know, the that, most that, frightening part of the film. That movie <laughs> played on afternoons around Christmas time in syndication when I was a kid, and you would think as like a seven or eight year old. That I it would hold my interest. <laughs> After about ten minutes, I'm like, "This is just crap." Okay, and, and I was like, it, it is. Okay, speaking know. of crap and Christmas, I don't know. It is, it did any of you guys? I, I remember being really excited about this. Was it the Star Wars holiday special uh, back oh in was it 1970? Was it 78? <clears throat> yeah, well, it was. It was like, between Star Wars and Empire. Oh so, my god! Yeah. So it would have been 78 or 79. And I remember being so excited. You know, anything Star Wars, and and when this Christmas special came out. Apparently, at our house, we were having a problem with our TV set. It had one of these problems where you know it was with the big tubes and stuff, right? And when it got too hot, it, it would go, it would go snap, and then all of a sudden the screen would go black. I think you were this, saved. The- yeah, yeah. 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 So You're- I, I only got to see the first twenty minutes of the holiday <laughs> special. That thing is still like the, the strangest anomaly to me in the whole well, Star Wars. You know, like history. Well, well where, where was Mr. You know, uh, Lucas? Yeah. I where heard, was. I've heard. Yeah. I've heard. Hey, look, I, I'm sure it was a money thing. I'm sure it was a marketing thing when they said, you know, this is such a big phenomenon. We got to throw together a Christmas special. So let's get B. Arthur. I heard. I, I heard <laughs> stories that he, his, Lucas's dream was to track down every video cassette and DVD of that and have them all destroyed. I, yeah. He could have. He could have gone into the studio while they were making it at some point <laughs> and went, yeah, I told you you could do anything except. This, you know what yeah. else, Matt? He could have done. He could he could actually go back now and say, "Hey, with digital technology, let's make it better." Yeah, why we'll add a few you. scenes. Oh my that's god, god. that's yeah. what we should. Hey, at yeah. least at least it didn't have Jar Jar Binks in it. You know, you look at television. Well, and variety I, shows, pretty pretty darn close. And, yeah, and, and, and Jar is very Christmassy too. You look at variety shows from <laughs> seventy eight or seventy nine, and it's pretty consistent <laughs> with what was on TV. Back oh yeah, but that doesn't mean it doesn't mean it's good. Done. And Carrie Fisher in that movie is high as a kite. <laughs> Is she really? Oh yeah, you watch her and that she, she's stumbling. No, she's, like, oh, she's gonna fall over. It's it's amazing. Not probably why I've always been so attracted to her in that special. <laughs> yeah, I like damaged ladies. I don't know what it is, but yeah, that's that's a that's a that's a wonder that thing. You yeah, know, when the, right around that time. The, so when when Star Wars came out, is that uh, for in seventy seven they didn't didn't have a Star Wars figures for the Christmas. So right, they, they had the uh, yeah so advance then, pack or whatever in yeah. seventy eight for Christmas of seventy eight. I remember. As a, as a kid, getting the, my brother and I, we both got these Christmas gifts, and we opened them up, and I got the large action figure, the tw- the twelve inch figure of Luke Skywalker, and my brother got Chewbacca. Now, I, being a big monster fan, I thought Chewbacca was a monster, so I traded my brother. I said, hey, hey, why don't you take the Luke Skywalker? He, he's cool, isn't he? You don't want that monster. Did your brother did. go for it? He did. Oh, there you he go. did, and I still have him to I this day. I would probably prefer yeah, the Wookiee, too. Yeah, box. oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I, so I got the Chewbacca. Of, I, of, of all characters in yeah. that whole franchise, Luke is the most annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> More so than the job. They're coming in too fast. Oh, <laughs> come on now. No, but that was. I was I'm trying to go into Tashi Station, pick up some power converters. <laughs> <laughs> 
So did you guys get any monster toys for, for Christmas when you were growing up? Anyone? Boy, were you, not, or did you get not. like books and no, I got, <laughs> socks? Know, my, most, my most cherished Christmas presents when I was little were Corgi toys. One of them was the Batmobile and one of them was Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I got them on two consecutive okay. years. <laughs> um, listen. Well, that's our show. Um, <laughs> hey, that Chitty Chitty Bang Bang was freaking cool. You, you pulled this little thing and the wings came out. Yeah. Wow. And it was, th- those things were durable. I mean, you could throw those things off a skyscraper, you know? Mm-hmm. Which you did, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I don't have them anymore, but they were <laughs> yeah, relatively right. durable. Doesn't actually fly, you found out. <laughs> Well, no, we, it was we, worth a try. We, we, uh, because this is before Star Wars figures, we did get Planet of the Apes figures. Oh, yeah. Uh, and and many Christmas mornings, I remember, yeah. like, opening Migos, Mego figures. Yeah, Mego Migos Mego were a big figures. part of like, Christmas mornings. Uh, for me, like, <clears throat> Xeroids. And, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, robots. The, yeah, robot plastic uh, battery operated robots that were so cool and kind of art deco y mm-hmm. and uh, immediately uh, destroyable. <laughs> right. Yeah. It lasts a day. Oh my god, so fragile, you know, you uh, I love you. <laughs> like right. it would crumble, it would snap you, in relation to how much you love well, it. When you're unwrapping you, it, it broke. What did you, it couldn't have been that fragile. Oh, I mean, they what were, did you do? Did you, you like throw it down the kid, stairs yeah. or something? No, but like you, you know, it's, it's You must like, have played with you must it have would beat top the it. hell out of your no, toys. Oh, well. Well, okay, if, if we're going to continue down, the other one of, I'm sure that we all enjoy is the color form uh, uh, Outer Space yeah. Men. Oh, yes. And the yes. color forms Outer, outer Space Men, those were great, but then, like, all of those figures, like Matt Mason, yeah. those wires would break, yeah. yep. and then the legs would start to go, yeah. and, yeah, rubber isn't made really as a right. durable, you would think it would be. But, but it's also, with the way they designed these things, and they, they actually had to have these little holes in the back where the wires would go in. Right, and right. And you, what you would do is, like I did, I, I took mine into the bathtub, and, and what <laughs> right. would happen is oh, the, the right. water yeah. would get through the hole, and it would rust the wire, and then over a period of time, but constant use of the guys moving, it, they, it would break, <clears throat> yeah. and then the wire would kind of <clears throat> stick through the, the rubber, and then, of course, your mom would go, oh, that's a danger thing, you know, danger thing, and yeah. I'd go, oh, no! Oh, don't throw that away! And, I would dip yeah. mine in vats of acid, and, and, and they didn't last, surprisingly. <laughs> what kind of a kid were you? you I still... Vats of acid? No, I still I use mine for sex, then. to this day. <laughs> right. The you pay- set yours on fire, too? Well, no, not those. I, not, not the color for aliens. Yeah. They, were, they were too cool. But I did eventually set some things on fire. Oh, you have to, <laughs> oh, set, you have to set some things on fire. Some of the Mego it's, figures it's that, a, that were getting old, you didn't like as much, yeah, you would set on fire. It's a rite of passage. You yeah. have to. The astronaut yeah. figure from the Planet of the Apes. Come on, he's not that cool. Set him on fire. I have mine mint in package. <laughs> It is so dear and cherished. Well, I have me. another one now. But I have one now, right? Yeah, that's what we do as adults. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. Somebody buy all the things we destroyed. Wizard of Oz, Migos, and you're like, yeah, I can put a firecracker in this one. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Did, did everybody in 1975? The big toy was the uh, Steve Austin. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Get, I, yeah. Got that for I think every boy I our age at that time. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. I, I, I didn't. I didn't get it at the time. Yeah, yeah. Because at the time, I wasn't really that big of a fan of the Six Million Dollar Man. I thought it was. I thought it was a boring show. And I thought that the idea of it, like, oh, he's got a one arm strong and the other one's yeah. not, and then, and what about the what about the tissue that's connecting the bionic limbs? Right, that right. would just that would you know, those legs would just tear loose. Well, do you every remember? Time he tried to you, use you, them. Oh, you put a lot of thought into this. Yeah. See the toy though, the actual toy itself. <clears throat> what, what irritated me is James. I didn't get it, but my friend had it. I, I was a fan of Six Million Dollar Man, but. I, my a friend down the street, I mean, he got all those things. He got the Evil Knievel toys and the, the, oh, the yeah. G.I. Joes. Yeah. And the, but with the $6 million man, what I thought was a design flaw is – so Steve Austin is supposed to have this eye, this eye yeah. that can see things really far away. Then you right. know he could get really close. <clears throat> and in the toy – you you look through the back of the head and it makes things appear even further. Yeah. Really? It's like no, no, it's yeah. supposed to be the opposite. I thought as a kid that they they messed up the toy. This the the little viewfinder is supposed to go the opposite way. Hey, this no, 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 no. What they're no, trying no. to do is recreate what would actually happen if you tried to have a bionic eye put in your head. <laughs> <laughs> That's what <laughs> Yeah, that would be the that result. That would be the result. The, would... the other thing if you remember it he had a little removable thing from his arm and which you like, lost in the rubber yeah, and it had a rubber a rubber sleeve. On yeah, that's the right. And that thing doesn't back. last. Well, yeah. over a period of time, it would yeah. like break. Put it through the dirt one day and it's yeah. done. It, well, then it doesn't look like his fleshy color. No, yes. not like, at all. It, it looks like... Uh, Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid bionic toy. 
But this you know, is so they, fake. They also made it, you know, a Jamie Summers, a Bionic Woman. Yes, which I got mm. later too. Yeah, yeah. So I actually watched this. I actually did watch the, the Bionic Woman more than I did the Six Men Doll. Oh, Man, of course, interesting. Wasn't it also like an Oscar mm. Goldman doll? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah How, there yeah. was that, and he had a suitcase, and there was a, a briefcase, a fembot too. What wasn't there? Yeah, there was a fembot, and then for Steve Austin, there was the Maskatron. Yeah, oh, yeah. That was kind of the cooler thing. Which I have a partially. Gosh, those are partially. Those are great toys. Great, great Christmas. You know, you know what I always remember when I think of Christmas is is there's a picture that I have that my parents took of me, and I, which proves that I must have gotten this toy, but I have no memory of it at mm-hmm. all. And it's the Remco uh, Lost in Space robot. Yeah, the Remco. Yeah, yeah the red yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> and I'm sitting inside the box. No, of it. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, and I'm like, hey, <clears throat> which means that I had it. Wow. And. I guess I was even more destructive as a toddler. <laughs> you must have been. Yeah, because I have no memory of it. I don't have no idea what happened to it. That that's is, another one wow. that I need that to is, get. That is an amazing toy. It's a great toy, and it's a, because of the hard plastic, you know, and then over a period of time, it uh, because of heat and stuff, it, it starts it starts to pull apart a little bit. Okay. But I can't believe that you – they. Took I kind of want that now. You have that, right? I do. I have it in the box. Oh, that's good. With the instructions. Ah. And my robot is in perfect shape. Nice. Oh nice. I like ben the little the, arms that you control. Yeah, the from little the back. arms. Yeah. And I cool. believe, I believe for the Lost in Space episode where you see all the little Lost in Space ones, it, they use that actual toy. They painted it. Really? They painted it the right yeah. color. <laughs> they, yeah, exactly. They, they made a different, a bunch of different variations. There's, he's got an orange body that you had like the reddish. There's a red body. one. Yeah. There's, there's like a silver one. There's a blue one. I know there's a blue one. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what the one that most people would want. But I haven't. I have the orangish. Yeah, that thing's that thing's and uh, but what what kills me is that I had it and I never got any enjoyment out of it because uh, who knows what happened. Oh my right. gosh. Like I, maybe that night see. my dad got drunk and you know <laughs> smashed it or threw it at my mom well, or you know, I don't know. You know it's funny the, uh, I got my robot from a from a kid who um apparently his he got it for Christmas. And the parents put the batteries in, and the kid played with it all day. And then the the robot kind of ran out of juice. They go, oh, this thing uses too many batteries, and batteries are expensive. That's why when I was no, no, Matt, no, 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 I'm just when uh, I was yeah, when I was growing up as a kid, my parents didn't like to get battery operated toys because that's an additional thing you had to buy for the toy, and you could only use it for a certain amount of yeah, time. It wasn't like batteries included back then. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. And and it makes total sense. So what they did with it is they go, this uses too many batteries, and they packed it up and they put it up in the attic, and they. It stayed for over 25 years until he went up to go check this out and then, oh, look at this robot. And I found him all wow. the first thing out of my mouth is, oh, you want to sell that thing? And Oh, nice. And now it is in my robot case. Wow. Yeah. You got That's quite really the robot nice. case. Yeah. Now, yeah. How, what, what do you, how about you guys? Like, what are your, uh, what, uh, do you have any, like, magic, that, that thing that, like, you, because as a kid, it's like your birthday and Christmas and that's, like, Jesus, like that's yeah. all you have yeah, to yeah. live for right. in yeah. your life. Of like, I'm just, I'm just slugging through school yeah. so I can so finally get to that time <laughs> yeah. where I can finally. I mean, I remember the GI Joes, like. like a lot of the GI Joes from the 70s. It was an Action Team GI Joe yeah. or Action oh, Adventure, the adventure, adventure, adventure Team. Adventure Team. All this those. Was when he, yeah. wasn't, he wasn't quite so military. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I liked those because it was more like kind of like action and almost sci-fi. Yeah, and there was like, a mummy. There was a the mummy. mummy. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, and cool vehicles. And there were big a, figures too. Abominable snowman. Well, that's, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. No, it, also, I remember I was really, really into prehistoric scenes. Oh. Snap snap together model kits of dinosaurs. And they all formed if you got all of them, the bases all for in one giant diorama. Aurora, Aurora, yeah, did. Aurora. But oh. they were snapped. They were the one of the first snapped together, I think. Mm-hmm. You know, um, model kits and I, a couple Christmases. Mm-hmm. I remember wanting those and getting those. those Which ones great. did you get? I, I had pretty much all of them. I mean, I had there was the a Tyrannosaurus, giant there? Tyrannosaurus. They had the Triceratops, yeah. the Cave Bear, the Cave, the Neanderthal Man, the Cro Magnon Man, Cro Magnon Woman, mm-hmm. Saber Tooth Tiger. And, oh, really, did you was, get all those? I, I, I one time I'm pretty sure I had every single one. Yeah, because I, I still have. I, I burned them all. I, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the thing about well, for our listeners. Had, you, Sean, Sean is a pyro basically. or firecracker. Well, yeah. or you had to, what you were doing is you were sort of like reenacting, like yeah, like a volcano, a volcano. 
volcano, you know, exploding, and that's what happens. The end of dinosaurs caught fire. Yeah, 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 because eventually, man, uh, you know, dinosaurs had to die eventually. Hey, you know what I got that I always wanted, and they did a re-release model kit of just recently. Is remember those strange change model kits? Yes, oh, yeah. yeah, yes. And there was the vampire, and there was the a mummy. mummy. But the time machine, yeah. Is oh the my gosh, one. I remember that one. Yep. Yeah, and the time machine. What it was was like it's like the model kit is shaped like this capsule, like like the time machine, and inside it is on is uh, on one side of. Like you press a button and there's a little scene that flips over and changes. Yeah. And so one side is the time traveler and he's all happy and smiling. And then you press the button, it flips over, and now he's like being torn apart by like a Tyrannosaurus yeah. and a Stegosaurus and like 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 this is awesome. <laughs> great by concept. MPC. Yeah. MPC. MPC, yeah. Yeah. I have believe it or not, I actually have the original. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's still Never been taken removed from the plastic. Those are cool. And I was, I've been so paranoid because I, I just was just dying to put it together. And now but you it, can, but because now yeah. they've re-released it. Yeah. So, right. so uh, yeah. Strange that, change. What a great yeah. concept. I want them to do that with the uh, with the Pirates of the Caribbean kits. Because, oh, because I have a mint one of uh, well, not mint, but like not unmade right, 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 right. box. Mm-hmm. And I would love, or the haunted mansion figures too. Like, oh, that's, yeah. Or the the kits. The yeah. kits so the, yeah, yeah. these came out like the early. It's like late early, 70s? early 70s yeah. by MPC, and it was like they did a series of these Pirates of the Caribbean figures, and and the haunted mansion. They didn't make as many of those. The pirates. There were a bunch. There was one yeah. with the, like a little skeleton on like a little island, and he and, and well, alligators biting his leg. Yeah, and he what was, what was it leg. called? It was like a certain snap action. Snap action. action. It was like with rubber action. bands. Oh, so it was like God. model yeah. kits, but they were like yeah. movable. Yeah. Oh. But <clears throat> and you would find ads for them in in the backs of comic books too. Yeah. Do you guys remember those? Oh yes. Those? Yep. And yep. and uh, I actually had the one I had <sighs> that my parents got three of the models. My my two older brothers got ones with the skeletons. They gave me the one with the pirate. It's the one with the pirate, and he's and the, he's he's standing there. Yo, ho, ho. I know, no, no. He's he's standing there. It's a pirate. It, it's not. There's no skeleton. He's standing there in his pirate outfit. And he's on like a a, a chest of gold. And he's holding the pirate flag. Oh, yeah. It's neat. But it's not as cool as the skeleton. The Didn't skeleton it come with ones. that? I think that one did come with. It's a little, yeah. It's a little circle medallion with the little skeleton that when you go down Pipes of the Caribbean it says. Oh my god! Yep. I thought it also had a, a alternate skull, skull head no. that you could put on it, but no. no? Oh well. No. The one I had is the one that I've now rebought. Yeah. Which is the one where it's Dead Man's Raft. Oh, and yeah. it's got two skeletons. Two in skeletons, it. one working the the wheel of the ship, oh. and then the other one. You press a button, and all of a sudden, the skeleton would fly out of this case, and uh, and stab a map with a with a, a dagger. <laughs> That's a, awesome. D- wait, did you put that together? Did you put? Or, or well, still, as a kid, yeah. Okay, so you but don't then have I found any it. Elements. Now I have it. Uh, I bought it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've never made it. Oh, That's yeah. awesome. Those are cool, though. It's funny yeah. how you we're the to, coolest people ever. <laughs> in, in a way, I think you sort of try to it, the, the way the earliest Christmas memories, like waking up pre dawn and seeing all the gifts under the tree, like Santa had been there, and it's almost like rosebud to me because I think I spent my entire adult life sort of trying to recreate that magic, and it's insane. But uh, <laughs> you know, uh, talking about getting back all those lost old toys that you destroyed or that you put <clears throat> together. Yeah. Yeah. Thank um, God bless eBay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. We're living in amazing <laughs> yeah. times. And like, even just like the last decade, talking about Rankin Bass, how some of these toy companies have put out these incredibly realistic figures of Rudolph and you're yeah. like Santa Claus and Santa Claus coming to town, all these different Rankin Bass that, that actually look almost like the, the puppets that they used. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was yeah, better really than stuff. the actual puppets. Yeah. yeah. We, James, we mm-hmm. have just about every figure yeah. that they made of yeah, Rudolph us too. under our tree. They're all displayed on our mantle yeah. right now. Including, we, we even have the miniatures. They actually made a, uh, I guess it's plain, is it plain mantis? Plain mantis that made, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, they yeah. actually made a Santa castle. You know, with the little miniature figures, we have those. So we kind of set up all these different scenes around the house. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's just great. Yeah. Um, so now, if we're just to get back to um, sort of horror yeah. genre Christmas Christmas stuff, <clears throat> mm-hmm. um, first of all, the first thing that comes to mind is a Christmas carol. Yes. Mm. Yes. Which mm-hmm. is a horrifying ghost story with a happy ending. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and yeah. many different versions. And many different yeah. versions. Um, most of them I like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Alistair Sims one is probably my favorite. Really, he's great. <clears throat> yeah, he's uh-huh. amazing. Uh, just the the direction of that movie, and it's yeah. it's so creepy. And yeah. he's he's so immersed in it. He takes it so seriously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
And uh, but we were all talking about we were talking earlier about Tiny Tim, oh, the character well, of Tiny Tim. Yeah, yeah. And I and uh, who. You I, had a, a well, thought well, about I, this, I have right? two thing, two things to say. The the Sims, the the version that you are talking about, is black and white, right. and it is a great, great um, Christmas Carol. But However, in 1971, there was this animated version that's actually only about 25 minutes long, and I, I don't know if it was it, it was considered a short film. Was actually nominated for an Academy Award, mm. but the the style of it, it's so incredible, incredibly creepy. And I remember seeing this on television. And it has one of the most frightening Jacob Marley scenes, mm-hmm. um, mm. and and also there's another scene where if we remember the if we remember the the the, the show or the the, the, story. Play the story, there's a scene where the ghost of Christmas present is standing there, and and Ebenezer says, "What's that by uh, by your feet or whatever?" And he shows a little boy, the yeah, little girl, yeah, the little boy yeah. is ignorance, yeah. and the little girl is want, right? In other these, some of these films. It's like a real little boy, little little girl in this animated cartoon. It's a freaking animated cartoon. They're like these horrific. No, they, they, they look like golems. Yes, wow. really. And, and oh, Matt, I see this. Matt, I've never is, seen this. Matt, it is so freaking creepy. What yeah. was the animation company? Was it, it like Richard, Chuck, Chuck, Richard Williams? Ri- Richard uh, Williams Studios. He used to do the Pink Panther movie opening. Oh, oh wow. But, wow. But, okay. But, but <clears throat> guys, this animated thing is nothing like Pink Panther cartoons. It's like <laughs> dude, dude, yeah. dude. Does it's the like, Pink like, Panther show up? Yeah, that would have been a letdown. <laughs> the weird thing is the executive producer was Chuck Jones, who's oh. best known for doing Bugs Bunny. <clears throat> right, but, right. But it's a great – and it's actually condensed you know, because it, it tells the story pretty quickly within the 25 minutes. Right, right. But if – guys, if you haven't seen this to our listeners, you haven't seen it, you got to check it out on YouTube. But it's the animated version of right. uh, yeah. I, I'll, I'll, I'll look for that early seventies or seventy one. Right around that time in nineteen seventy, there was the theatrical musical version of Scrooge with Albert Finney. Yeah. Which oh I, yes, which right. I saw in a theater when I was five, and what freaked me out about it in my memory was that the Ghost of Christmas Future um, sends Scrooge to hell. He literally sends him to Hades. I don't know if you've seen this. But, um, Not in forever. Yeah, it's been yeah. a while. Alec Guinness is Jacob Marley, and he sort of greets him, and then he chains him to a coffin where rats start to... to gnaw on him. Gnaw wow. on him, yeah. yeah. And when I was a kid, I was like, holy mackerel, this is dark. <laughs> I was five. And I, I kept <laughs> yeah. that in my memory, because how could you not? There's, you know, the the Ghost of Christmas Future hood is, is revealed, and then he's got a skeleton underneath, and he's pointing this bony finger down into, into hell. <laughs> um, and for years after, whenever they showed it on TV, that scene was cut. Uh, because I guess it was oh, expendable. Really? No, and I was just like, "Did I dream that?" And wow. then finally, like the, the video was released, and I, there it was restored. It's like, damn! But that's another one I gotta say. Yeah, actually, really. this uh, Scrooge qualifies as one of my I don't know guilty pleasures, but it's it's one of my top ten favorite movies ever. Really, I, it's not just nostalgia. I really, really love the way it's done. I love Finney in it because yeah. he also takes it really, really seriously, and um, his transformation is amazing. Well, and, and I love the songs too. Yeah, but you know the one that I see, what I see a lot of at, at Christmas time is the George C. Scott one. That's like yeah. for, was that from eighty four? Yeah, oh, 45. yeah, right. Yeah. And that's Matt. <clears throat> that's the one where in all these, <clears throat> you know, when you see Tiny Tim. It's like a little kid with a little crutch or whatever. But in this one, <laughs> in this one with George C. Scott, Tiny Tim looks like he's he's at death's door. Which is he what looks, it should be. Exactly. To me, so to me, Tiny Tim looking so sickly. And it looks like he's going to keel over any moment. <laughs> to me, that's... That's a real tiny Tim. I also well, like, like in the other, I'm just uh, saying yeah. like in the other. That's what always got me in the other versions is that you'd see <clears throat> Tiny Tim and you go, he's gonna pull through. He's There's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's got yeah. a crutch. That leg will heal. But but when you see when you see this one with George C. Scott, you guys check out this one. You look at Tiny Tim. Oh boy, any moment now. That kid's I also heal. love the Odd Couple episode where uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Felix wants Oscar to play Scrooge in the, his play, but he won't do it. But then. Uh, uh, Oscar eats a bunch of food in his ulcer and he falls asleep and has a dream he be- and it's it's a uh, Felix as us, as Jacob Marley take and El Marinero is a uh, is Tiny Tim <laughs> I, I don't remember this oh it's great I don't remember great. this yeah, one I remember it's that it's classic well if we're gonna if we're talking about comedy versions you can't really uh, top the Black Adder uh, Christmas oh, special oh yes Black Adder fantastic which is it's the, a great uh, reversal kind yes of. it's it's the Christmas Carol story mm-hmm. except um, Ebenezer Blackadder is the nicest man in all of Victoria. Yeah, he starts England. out that way, and everybody, because he's so nice, everybody takes advantage of him. Yeah. <laughs> so then, the uh, the ghost comes and visits him and shows him 
clips basically of other Black Adder shows mm-hmm. characters right. and of shows him what his if he were bad, you know, mm-hmm. how bad his ancestors were. Mm-hmm. And so he finally starts to realize that, hey, maybe if I'm bad, I'll actually get what I want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. So his transformation in the morning is he's just a dick to everybody. <laughs> and it's like his his servant Baldrick, he goes, he goes, oh, I guess Santa didn't get us anything. He goes, No, I I got something for you. I I made it for you, and it's called a fist. <laughs> and it's for hitting. And the wonderful part about it is you can use it again and again. He's just punching him repeatedly in the face. And that uh, makes me classic. think of Christmas. <laughs> classic. That's Christmas that's how Christmas is all about. Yeah, that's now, are you guys fans of the League of Gentlemen? Because uh, they oh, have yeah. a Christmas special that is literally a amicus horror trilogy. Yeah, it's like a wow. love letter to those uh, yeah. horror films. Yeah, and it's got vampires mm-hmm. and murder, and uh, it's just lovely. It's good. Oh. Everything that well, Christmas well, Speaking is about, about horror, like, how about some of the Yuletide kind of horror-themed movies? I mean, So like uh, <clears throat> Christmas Evil and uh, yeah, Silent, like Silent Night, Night Deadly Night? Night. I mean, well, like, Silent Night Deadly Night was the kind of notorious one because yeah, yeah. That was like early eighty slasher film. I have was, not seen that. Is that any good? It's it's kind of it's no. You know, <laughs> but it's but no. But if you, if in that lowbrow kind of like uh, sleazy slasher vein, yes. Yeah, if, if you're yeah. in if you're in the mood for that, yeah, it's it's, it's a killer Santa Claus. And, and usually yeah, Christmas and, does put me in that mood. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And um, parents were apparently up in arms because it's they were more than parents. They were they were av- doing oh, advertisements. Yeah. Yeah. kind of during the holidays. Yeah. on TV and little kids were seeing like a, a menacing yeah. a yeah. killer Why is Santa, Santa Claus scary? figure. Yeah. Right. Um, so and it then, was of course, a big deal they, at the time. Yeah, it was. Right, it was, and, which is funny because the movie is just not that great. But <laughs> they made a bunch of sequels too, which really went off on strange tangents. Like mm-hmm. they made ones with like about a coven of witches with Maude Adams in it. And one oh. has Mickey Rooney in it, and there's an evil toy maker. <laughs> wow. I mean, really, they That's made like about five great. sequels. Yeah. yeah, Mickey Rooney, really crazy. But one of the really genuinely good, scary uh, uh, horror films, uh, Christmas. Related is Black Christmas. Mm. Oh, that is a good one. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, by Bob Clark, who did right. uh, Death Dreams, Children Who Play with Dead Things, and later on Porky's. Tell us about that and Christmas um, story. And Christmas story, yeah. But Black Christmas is just, it's a it's a early mid seventies, and it's basically like a sorority house girls sorority house get start getting these super creepy and bizarre, disturbing phone calls from this kind of guy just ranting on the phone, but like. It's, really, really creepy. Like, yeah, and it's like you can't, you can barely understand really what he's yeah, saying. He's, but it's it's, it's, it's just very really disturbing. disturbing. Yeah, and you know, and then kind of murders start happening in, in and around the house, and and it's it's kind of like a slasher film, but but really, really well done. Very creepy, and 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 a nice, but a nice Christmas atmosphere too amidst it. Really good. It's got Margot Kidder and Cara Dulea. Yeah, yeah, John oh. Saxon. And I think this is when it? Yeah. Margot Kidder was mm, nice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Um, there's a couple of other ones. Uh, Christmas Evil is a great one because it's a guy who is obsessed with Christmas and kills anybody who's like cynical about the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> so any cynics you know, uh, don't take the holiday seriously, he kills. Uh, Merry uh, Christmas! And there's yeah, one, and then there's that. one strange one called Don't Open Till Christmas, which is about a mad killer who's killing. All guys dressed as Santa Claus on around Christmas time. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, Sean, that's a pretty that weird one. one. There's a relatively recent one called Silent Night from 2012 from Canada. Yeah, I don't know if it's, is it a remake of the original I don't, I don't, Silent Night Deadly Night. I don't know. No, I don't think so. I haven't I mean, seen that one. Malcolm McDowell's in it. And, really? Um, the oh my god! Place in Canada. It's actually kind of compelling. It's not terrible. Interesting. Okay. Well, and one of my favorites is there. It's it's only a part of this film, but it's the uh, the original Tales from the Crypt oh. film. Oh yeah. And and the uh, the Santa Claus segment there is you know the the guy who escapes from an insane asylum and is now dressed up like Santa and uh, is Joan trying, Collins, trying right? to yeah get at Joan Collins who has just killed her husband <laughs> right so yeah layered and uh, yeah, full great. of Yuletide joy hmm. yeah good stuff yeah well, but there was another uh, you guys may have to help me out here I think there was there was a movie that came out or, or dealt with some things that happened around Christmas, and that was the movie Joe Dante's Gremlins. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, yeah very now, Christmas now, movie. Now, the thing that really gets me is, is you know, I, I, hey, I, I like little creatures and monsters and stuff, but do you guys remember the little story, spoiler alert? Oh, yeah. Uh, Phoebe, that Phoebe Cates. Phoebe Cates yeah. talks yeah. about what happened to her father. That's the best part of the movie. Yeah. Are you serious? Okay, so for, for, those, for, for those of you who have not seen it, spoiler alert, okay? Um, she tells the story about why she hates Christmas so much. And it has to do with, you know, her father dressing up as Santa Claus and getting these gifts, and he 
went down the chimney, and I guess he slipped or something, and, and he got bro- stuck. He got broke got his stuck. neck. Yeah. He never and, showed up. And that's right. And so he died, you know, being stuck in this chimney. And I saw this interview with Joe Dante, and like you, he goes, "Ah, oh, I thought that was really funny." I'm like, "Are you? That's horrible." Well, I think that, that was, when, huh? when most people are opening presents, some people are opening their wrists. Yeah, the, well, I think what makes that scene, uh, what makes that scene so memorable is that, like they're looking at it and everything just sort of stops dead, and she's giving this monologue, and it's like, what does this have to do with anything? Yeah, it, well, you know what though, that original script by I think it was Chris Columbus, right? Yeah. Um, originally, I believe the screenplay for Gremlins was a much darker. Um, yeah. Well, kind of black comedy, but really dark, kind of cynical uh, script, and not kind of like the kind of feel good Spielbergian like film that turned out to be. Rolling down yeah, it was it was a kind of gory, kind of violent horror uh, story. I'm just happy that they got Chris Columbus to come in there and fix it because he is <laughs> yeah. always so good. He yeah. is man. He's like accent. Remember that the, the monosodium glutamate uh, powder that you would put on things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Accent was this popular oh, yeah. thing. Oh, that's right. And yeah. it makes Remember everything now, yeah. taste better because yeah. uh, we're fooling your brain into thinking it was. But, but you were saying that, so he was he was brought in to kind of clean it up a little bit. Well, no, it, it it went through it went through the. I mean, I think it went through the the Spielberg process too. Went through. I mean, it just it's it's like it's like Pretty Woman. You know, Pretty Woman the original script was a, a very um, much more kind gritty, of hard, gritty, yeah, dark edged. Uh, um, not a happy ending movie, and it becomes this fairy tale yeah, for Hollywood. Yeah, well, same thing for Gremlins. Rom com. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, yeah. I, I like that ending of Pretty Woman. <laughs> okay. Oh okay. my god! But I was not a big fan of the whole the 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 dying dad in the Christmas outfit. There, I thought you could have done it. Well, done something differently. But what about what about the whole? It's kind of like when you think of Grimm's fairy tales, yeah, and how you know the roots of those fairy tales. When you get to the original story, they're really dark. Yeah, they're much more gruesome. And yeah. Santa, just as a, I know that Santa is sort of a composite of a lot of different traditions. Yeah. Father Christmas and Chris Kringle. And, and isn't all. the Coca Cola advertising yeah, kind of that's helped how, create? Yeah, the, they right? did the yes. whole the right. whole red outfit right. was right, right. created and the white beard that was right. created by by Coca Cola. But 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 just in the sort of the basic idea of what we. We understand Santa to be now, which is the guy that is making a list and checking it twice. And if like, and he enters your home illegally, <laughs> and maybe he's going to leave you coal, or maybe he's gonna, like right. it's, that. Frightens me. He's watching like, you. Yeah, the idea that there's this like. A Christmas stalker. Yeah, this really. guy that is just peering through the window. Well, and I, I he never knows. really thought of it that way. Yeah, that, that's... imposing. It could be grounds for harassment. Well, yeah, I don't want him. Like, <laughs> well, if we learned anything from Santa Claus is coming to town, he has the magic snowball. Right. So he right. is able from to Winter see. Warlock. Yeah, from Winter Warlock. Well, Winter <clears throat> Warlock taught him how to do that. Right. So he or and, ooh, how, how about the crazy weird fever dream movie called Santa Claus from the fifties, made yeah. by Mexico, where Santa Claus ha- lives in a weird space station. He has a big eye telescope yeah. and he oh, watches everybody oh, and he my. fights the devil. Wait, we and it's crazy. We saw that. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. movie was nuts. Oh my god, I yeah. forgot about Merlin if you the see Magicians one movie it's... for the yeah. holiday season. Yeah, that, that it has to be that so, one. It's so, just called Santa Claus. It's called Santa Claus. It was 59. 59 and we actually saw it uh, at at Sean's house one day yeah. and one of the, my big thrills when I was watching that movie was since it took place in 59 when they were filming it, they actually have 1950s robot real oh, toys yeah, all over the place and I was flipping out. I'm like, oh, oh look at that robot. Oh my! And you know you you know they just threw batteries in air, make this toy go across the. And I'm like, oh, that's a well, cool. also, yeah, you that's know, a weird shot one. in Mexico, and the, the last place you think about Christmas is Mexico. You know, <laughs> right? I mean, it doesn't snow down there. What is that stuff? Hey, Christmas is celebrated all over the world. No, 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 I, know, I know, I know. No, Feliz Navidad. You know, <laughs> peace. So, what I want to know is why why isn't there is why isn't there a horror Hanukkah movie? And if there is. <laughs> Yeah. Why don't we know about make it? it? Well, you know what? <laughs> or make Matt, it? Yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this. I I don't know about the Hanukkah thing, but what I do do is we have all these you know toy monsters and robots and creatures all over the house, and what we do around Christmas time is just about every one of them gets a little Santa hat. You know, I put right. little, right. little Santa it's hats going. on them, and and. I was looking at our Christmas tree the other day, and I said, "My God, you know, I have a lot of 
monster science fiction fantasy horror stuff on this tree. I mean, uh, the Radco company that's known for doing like glass blown ornaments, they actually did a series of monsters. They did Frankenstein, Dracula, Wolfman, oh, cool. the Mummy, and the Creature from the Black Lagoon, which is absolutely stunning. I mean, they're gorgeous. They're 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 big, and they have all these great colors and covered with with glitter. Mm-hmm. And and I uh, the, my prized one is the creature. I mean, I have three of them just in case one drops and breaks. But it's like got a prized place right in the center nice. with a little green light on it and then we have you know the star trek ornaments and, yeah well like right. the Doctor Hallmark Who, Hallmark, all yeah, that all those are great stuff. do you like what silent kind of stuff, raider what, what kind of stuff do you oh, have yeah, we have tree? a we have a gadalic ornament we have a tardis one a couple robots robots are always great like yeah. a lot of cool robots ro- yeah you get the robbie the robot from uh, yeah Hallmark. yeah oh, oh yeah do, Okay, do you know, it came out, when it came out, it was like, what, 14, 15 bucks? Yeah, yeah now it's like really it's expensive and hard to get now. It, yeah. I mean, they're going it's crazy. 80 to 90 bucks. Yeah, 100 ridiculous. bucks. Can you believe that? Do you have one? I don't have it. Oh. But uh, I'm saving for the... Life size, Robbie. So, yeah, I don't care. Uh, let's not I'm going to win in the end. Yes. The, uh, another great, of course, Christmas horror connection is the uh, TV animated cartoon The Grinch How the Grinch Stole Christmas oh, oh my sure. god yeah yes. narrated by Classic. the one and only Boris Karloff Boris, Boris Karloff who won, an, just who won an Emmy so connected with, I mean his voice is so mm. part of that and the know. Grinch is a monster but yeah or is he like he is. I don't know I mean monster. he's a monster but like what is he like <laughs> a monster he's the Grinch and the, where, where did the it's is a there, race there's like a race there, of are Grinches. there a race of Grinches maybe yeah. yes and, yes. and he's, he's the, the last one, one. and that's like, why he's yeah. so like miserable. The creature yeah. from the Black yeah. Lagoon, who's like yeah, the yeah. Last he's one. like a missing link in a way. Or maybe and what yeah. he's just the only evil who, and that made him green. Well, that's what I'm thinking. That that oh, was the other side maybe. of it. I he's thought like it, maybe mutated, it's like a mutated, uh, strange, like Mister Hyde thing. Yeah, yeah maybe. It, you know, I never really thought about. But, but, yeah. when he, but when he gets good at the end, he doesn't physically change, other than his heart growing three times that day. Yeah, but he doesn't. He different still problem entirely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's cholesterol. <laughs> a medical term for that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and what about, the, what about the Jim Carrey version? I mean, no, I oh, want, that's my favorite. I don't even want to go <laughs> there. I want to. I, I want to yeah, go back. I want to go back sacrilege. to the board. You know, that's what I love about about the Grinch Stall Christmas is if people forget that Boris Karloff had had cr- was the monster in the, in Frankenstein he will always be remembered for doing the voice of that's, the that's Grinch. true and, and that was like narrator. this is like 60s right mid 60s 68 yeah, 69 so, right and uh, I, I, maybe it's 67 i don't know but but to this day it's still considered a, a great classic yeah yeah absolutely um a, a, this, here's a slight here's a follow this train of logic okay <laughs> so here's the horror connection to the new uh, the, Grinch movie. Okay, <laughs> which is if you go on Halloween yeah. to Universal Studios here in Los Angeles, mm-hmm. and you go to the Hollywood Horror Haunts night, you are able at one point to get off your tram and walk through this area that has a set of like the, the a plane that has crashed, uh, and yeah. and then finally you get to Whoville. And in really? Whoville, guys dressed up like zombies will come out with their can what? of beans and shake them at you and go, wow. Wait, in Whoville? In Whoville. Wow. They have desecrated. That is messed up. Yeah, they Matt? have desecrated Whoville. Wow. And we need to take it back. I well, agree. they desecrated the Ron Howard Whoville, which might be an improvement. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Oh. Ooh. You know, I, <laughs> I Matt, like part, of, you part of me felt that, that I, I, uh, the, the classic with Boris Koloff is, is so precious to me. And some of the stuff that I saw, just the previews, I just was not interested. So I, I have not seen it. I haven't seen it either. Um, and I, I didn't, I, I I didn't no even desire. bother. I have no, no desire. You, you know, know what, uh, what uh, relatively modern Christmas movie I try to watch every couple of years um, that I really love is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Cause it, hmm. it, I haven't seen it in a while. I remember know, liking it, though. When I first saw it in a theater in like 1989, I thought, wow, this is more entertaining than I expected it to be. And it really holds up. Um, and the amazing thing about it for me is that it's the second sequel um, European Vacation came after the first one. Which and sucked. Was, yeah. And so you wouldn't <clears> have expected that the Christmas one would, would be that much better. And, you know, a lot of times they'll drag out Christmas movies, they'll play them year after year, and they're not very good. And there's tons of them. This yeah. one actually holds up. Well, Jingle All the Way, I think, with Arnold Schwarzenegger is by far. <laughs> yeah, let's get it back to horror. The timeless. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> mm. Was that the one with, where he was trying to find a to- the yeah, toy or something? Figure. The action yeah. figure toy? That's hard to watch. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I, I, if if we're gonna if we're gonna make a movie that bad, then again I'll just go directly to one of the horror holiday movies because yeah, I'd yeah. rather you know I'd rather take Silent it in that Night Deadly Night Five yeah over right. Jingle all the I'll way. take that over any of the you know per- 
purposely trying to yeah. you know hone in on a market right thing. right totally like and did anyone like like what what's what was the other one with the uh, uh, Tim Allen oh well, well those Santa are very Claus. successful I think there's at least three of them have you ever the, seen the Santa Claus no no yeah, I don't care it's not for us no it's not our it's not for us, <laughs> no, no, I've, not seen, not for us. I've seen all of them does it have really? a giant no, no, does it have a giant two. bumble in it I have not seen the third one are there monsters in any of them. Uh, eh, there's robots in the second one. Ooh! Yeah, okay. All right, we're back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're back, everybody. No, they're, 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 the first one has some good things in it. The, then they just get progressively sillier. It's just yeah. I think Martin Short shows up as, in one, as Jack, Jack Frost. Frost. Yeah. Yeah. Losing me. Yeah. Losing yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That, that's that's oh there's a Jack oh the Jack Frost. Jack Frost yeah oh, Jack Frost no. the horror film is a oh. killer Santa Claus movie it's like a serial killer who like gets toxic waste dumped on him or something and turns into a, a mutant s- Santa Claus oh my yeah, god and he kills there, people gorily and there's a sequel I think too isn't there also another one that what's what's the one there's a killer snowman that's the one Jack Frost oh is that it that's Jack Frost oh. yeah not to be confused with the, the feel Michael good Keaton, family movie right. called Jack Frost where Michael Keaton turns into a snowman right. oh. you know that different movie. Sean, that actually looks frightening. The yeah, snowman look, does yeah, not look, look bad. The yeah. snowman does not look. Friendly. But the horror movie Jack Frost is pretty good. Yeah, okay. it's pretty good. I'm gonna put that it's on kinda my like, list. It's kind of like it's kind of like like Child's Play. It's like you know, instead of going into a doll, his his essence goes into snow. Well, I would be remiss <laughs> if I didn't point out how many. Christmas specials Doctor Who has done. Oh, oh yes, totally. Uh, featuring it's become uh, like a tradition yeah, now, right? And, and yeah, and they always do a, a, a Christmas special, and they do, uh, and they're usually have some very very horrifying moments. Christmas, yeah, creepy Christmas, yeah, like a like a Christmas tree that suddenly starts spinning. And like a saw, yeah, the, yeah, chasing people around the room. Wow! Yeah. And what oh, was that? The, the Nutcracker guys, or so, or like the one with the big the uh, masks, the angels. Yes, yeah. Or, or, yeah well, there was or angels in one of them, but yeah. then there were another guys who were yeah. like uh, carolers, or yeah, yeah. They had masks. Weird on. creepiness. Yeah. yeah, and then there's one where it's killer snowmen. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so, it's so good. yeah, they uh, are. The, are these like? Would you say these are like a recent ones? Or yeah, these, these are the they, recent ones. Yeah, okay. the past and they, well, lately too, they've been, so. they, they've been used as the vehicle to introduce the new doctor. Too, yeah, that's what like, they do. You know, for yeah. However long, I forget exactly how. Yeah, the yeah. new doctor who's been going for what about twelve years or something? Yeah, now, yeah, or, yeah. And yeah, and they always do one every year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears> and they're always Christmas themed. Uh. There's yeah. always a Christmas theme one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. that's cool. Oh, yeah, they're pretty and good. They fit within the continuity of the whole. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. No, they're pretty awesome. But um, and then I think we have to at some point maybe make our own. We need to form a production company, and because <laughs> I think we've got we've hit on a lot of things here tonight. We have. Uh, I know I'd be remiss without mentioning the new year. Let's not forget the classic slasher film New Year's Evil. New Year's <laughs> Evil, yes. With, with Roz, Pinky Tuscadero Kelly, oh, terrorized no. by a slashing maniac, um, who's she's the host of a all night like uh, new wave dance party on the radio. I love new wave. <laughs> yeah, and and there oh, are people my. being killed. And it's great. You're, it's classic. You're, it's better even than Silent Night Deadly Night. Your film wow. knowledge is absolutely amazing. No, it's impressive. Sean. I, I, that's amazing. <laughs> I don't know that. That's all. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna ring in the new year with that. One. I think I will Absolutely. too. But Good you know idea. what? The, you were talking. We were talking about the Tiny Tim thing. Yes. And I just. I think maybe that is a movie we could make. What? The, like a new like the, Terror the, Tim screw. or something. Oh, like. oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because like what, what we find out is that there's a reason why Tiny Tim is all weak and right. you know and he uses his they crutch pur- as a weapon because like they purposely blade comes they out purposely, out of purposely <laughs> weaken him because if he gets strong he becomes like a, a monster <laughs> yeah. right and just goes berserk on Victorian England and with with his crutch and then gets people in a yeah. corner and yeah and his crutch is like the Freddy Krueger claws ah! yeah Not the exactly. Crutch. <laughs> you know, Matt, you have, he has to have clever there. one-liners every time he kills yes. people. They relate to, but, to Christmas. So but it God has, bless us all. But it has to be in except a, in for a, you. It has yeah. to be in a Cockney accent. Number yeah, one, yeah. it has to be in a little. You'll be wishing you were <laughs> dead. <laughs> but, but you have to say it in a little child's yeah, right, voice. Right, right. That'd be great. Hello, hello, go to hell. <laughs> Governor. <laughs> Okay. Well, on that note, oh, yeah. man. Wow. Well, now that we've started a new franchise, yes. Yes. this is Matt, a perfect gonna, opportunity for us to right wind on. this lovely holiday edition up and wish you all a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, a Merry Fill in the Blank, Kwanzaa, whatever, what whatever shit you do to around this time. <laughs> 
fine. And you know, I, and in 2013 has been a great year. It has been. And yeah. 2014 and, is going to be even better. And there'll be even more monster party craziness. Oh, yeah. 2014 will be even scarier. Yeah. 2014 will be the year of monster party. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Happy holidays, everyone. Happy New Year. And uh, watch horror and science fiction films. Keep America strong. Bye. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.